is up people welcome to a little bit of a showcase of a program i made for big reactor uh and i thought maybe you'd like you guys would like to have a program that can control your reactor and i made one here uh as you can see it's a reactor that can produce a lot more than uh i think it can produce up to 9.6 krf and currently it's only producing 1,600. So as you can see here, 1,637, then it's going to go down to 1,500. It tried to keep it, it tried to keep it at the same amount that you can take out. So currently, as you can see, it pretty much produces the same amount because those can only take 800 and 800. So this one only grabs 1,600 and it keeps it 1,600. It also saves you a lot on the milli bucket that you're going to use for your fuel. And I find that it looks pretty freaking great. Uh, one thing that is different than many other type of control is that you can control the amount uh, that you want to keep in. So let's say you want to always have 90% power in there. So you see currently I'm at 5 million and it's going down. Uh, let's say I want to keep... Uh, the maximum that I want to keep in there is 100%. So you'll see, now it starts going up because it's not close to it. And the minimum I want to do is also 900, 90%. Uh, you can't go like 100, 100, but you can do 90, 100. And that way it's going to keep going up until it reaches the point that you said 90% uh, is 9 million. So when it's going to reach 9 million, it's going to start putting down the rods to lower the efficiency of the reactor. And you'll see, well, considering the fact that you don't have a big gauge, uh, you, you'll see that this number will vary a lot more than when we were at like uh, 2050, something like that. So yeah, this program is a little cool. Uh, you can also turn off the reactor, turn it on. And yeah, it, it works pretty well. As you can see here, I connected it with uh, the cables. Uh, on the other side, I made a bigger one. Uh, and I completely forgot to take the flux duct. Uh, and we'll put uh, an incredibly fast one to put into that giant that giant controller here so just so you guys can see the amount of power that goes in we're going to regulate it just to show you uh if you go in there like you can put seven million at the time and that's not what i want i'm going to lower that to around uh twenty-five thousand. i think should be enough uh i'm using infinity uh, infinity barrels okay so if if we start that thing, if we just activate it, we'll see that like it creates a lot of power. Okay, this is a lot of power and it's not at the max. We'll just stop it for now. What I'm going to show you is how to make the program. And uh, everything is on Pastebin. The codes are going to be in the description below and you'll be able to do it like that. So it's pretty simple. Uh, like I said, first thing you want to do when you get a computer is you want to label it. Just in case you break it, you don't want to lose the stuff that is in the computer. So label it, label set, and I'm going to call it Reactor Showcase. So to make sure it's done, now if you, go, if you look in the whale uh, at the top, it's written Reactor Showcase. So now it's labeled. So if I break it, uh, I'm not going to break it because I'm in creative mode. But if I break it and I place it back, it's still going to have the same name and the same program inside. So what we want to do now is uh, get the startup program to get the program into the reactor. Uh, you do need the startup program because uh, you need to call the program itself with the variable because it creates a file on your server. So we're going to call it like that, paste bin, get, 
you're going to copy paste this one, which is going to be in the description below named reactor startup or startup reactor. And you're going to give it a name, but it's important that you put it on startup because startup always run when you're, when you have a crash, uh, when the server restarts, when something happens, it's always going to start automatically if it's chunk loaded. So you do that. Now we have startup. You don't start it right away. You're going to edit startup and you're going to change this thing here. Enter personal index here. It's really important that you change it for something that only you will use. So something like uh, showcase one, two, three. This is going to create the, the, the file on your server or on your computer called showcase123.txt just so you can keep the variable to let the reactor run uh, even when the game crashes or something like that. So you want to save it and then you're going to exit. So once you saved it, you just pretty much need to click startup, startup, <laughs> and boom. It created everything for you. When it starts, it's at 0, 100. If you don't mind the power being in, you just leave it like that. But what we're going to do is we're going to start the, the reactor. And it's going to start doing that. Uh, this is based, the maximum will always be the maximum it, it creates. Oh, why is it inputting 50,000? Okay, it seems to be inputting 50,000 tick. So as you can see, this one inputs 50,000. The RF attack is going to go to 50,000 and it's going to stay there. The controller, the controllers are going to stay right where they are. And as you can see, this one pretty much, let, let me remove that. This one pretty much is going to stay really close to where it is. It's not going to go down. It's not going to go up. So let, let's say I do, I do want more power into it. Just to make sure I always have 8 million RF in there. Well, this thing is just going to kick up. And as you can see, it's going to stabilize to what you want. So what's going to happen is, let's say you have a couple of connection on a Tesseract or something like that. And at some point, you start using a lot of power. Well, this is going to allow it to keep an 8 million buffer into it. So... This is what's going to happen. Uh, it's going to regulate itself until it reaches like 8 something. So it's just going to play with that. But as you can see, it's a lot better than just telling it. Uh, wh what could I tell it? Uh, well, just not having the controller there. Uh, I could stop it with control T. And oh yeah, but I can't change all the rods. So <laughs> we're just going to forget about that. But yeah, so the program is always going to run. Uh, you don't need the cables. If you want to use cable, you can use the cable to move the screen somewhere else. Uh, the only problem I've seen so far is if you connect the screen here, use a cable to connect it to the cable. It's going to count twice. And this here, uh, when you touch the things, I'm just going to restart the program. Uh, when you touch it, it's just simply going to act twice because you have two connections, so it sends the information two times. Uh, but like here, we're directly connected into the port, directly connected into the, the screen, and we can easily do it. So let's say uh, we up this to what? All of it. Uh, no, we'll go 35,000. So 35,000 is going to get 70,000. It doesn't really make any sense, but... Eh. It seems like it's like that. So it's going to go to 70,000 now. It can produce more, but it's going to go to 70,000. Oh, let, let's say I need, uh, instead, I just need 5,000. Well, that's how it's going to be. So yeah, guys, uh, if you enjoyed that and you want to see more, uh, you know, showcase of little things and maybe mod showcase, just let me know in the comment section below and I'll do more. I do have a program for turbines. Uh, I'll put my paste bin uh, in down there. And if you want to check it out, it's all going to be in the, com it's all going to be in the, the description below. So just take that out guys. And as you can see, 10,000 and it produces 6,000. 
uh, well, it's actually regulating itself. So as you can see, it's really close to 10,000. But since we have like this, it's really hard for it to just like, you know, go down, go up. It's pretty much going to stay there. So, you know, you, you play with the one you prefer. And uh, at some point, it's just going to regulate itself easily. But yeah, guys, that's going to be it. And I hope you guys enjoyed. And you are free to use it for whatever you want to do. If you want to modify the code, it's up to you. Uh, and I, I placed some little comments that don't really matter in there. Uh, but yeah, if you want to improve the code, just go ahead, try it. And let me know if you guys can come up with something. Bye, guys.